Okay, so it's the end of, of an interesting, long Saturday. It was an interesting day, but it, overall, I have to say, it, it ended up kind of being a little disappointing. And let me explain why. Today, our goal was not to spend a day touring, not to spend a day packing, but to spend a day out and about the local area. Uh, because our, par our parents, I guess I could call them our parents, technically, even though they're really only my parents, uh, my parents offered to, uh, as a housewarming gift when we move to Washington next month, to buy a bedroom set minus the bed set, because we already have a relatively new bed set, we don't need a new one, but to buy us a bedroom set for our master bedroom. So what that would include is a chest, which they call the bigger dresser, mm -hmm. the smaller dresser usually that has the, the mirror on it, okay, for example, this right there, and the two nightstands. And our goal today was if we wanted to, number one, locate stores that exist both here in Connecticut and also in Washington State, because what we wanted to do was see some stuff in person ahead of time, maybe get an idea of what's available, so that when we actually move out to Washington State, we may have actually already purchased something and just have it delivered to the home, okay? So already, even though there are an incredible amount of nice furniture stores in Connecticut, we incredibly narrowed down the selection of stores that we could go to because there was a lot of things here that are just local to this area of the country. They don't exist on the other side of the country. So primarily what we ended up doing was looking at uh, department stores and a couple other furniture stores outside of there. The first one we hit up was JCPenney. We also went to Macy's and Sears and we found out that all three of them do not have furniture uh, in this area. And when we inquired why, they said because most of uh, the stores in this area are independent furniture stores that are separate from those department stores. So they, even though those, t those stores sell furniture, you go online right now and order all the furniture that you want, they don't have those on display in the local stores in Connecticut. So we were very disappointed because that was one of our big hopes. Maybe we go into Macy's, we find a really nice dresser set we like, we can order it online, have it delivered to Washington. Immediately that hope was dashed. We would not be able to see the stuff in person. So kind of that stuff was already ruled out. So we said, all right, so outside of those department stores at the mall, what else is there? <clears throat> and we started looking up a few different chains. Uh, one of them was Lazy Boy. Lazy Boy actually is in Connecticut and also in Washington. We go inside the Lazy Boy store. Oh, we don't have bedroom sets here. All we have are couches and living room sets. And we're like, oh. They sell it, but they don't have it in person, which is the whole point of the trip. So we did look at a few things in Lazy Boy, including uh, some some larger larger cheese lounge areas that we may, you know, that are nice looking. Uh, as we are looking for something like that, a large couch slash cheese lounge sectional for the the living room, <clears throat> and also some love seats because I definitely need a love seat for my office to sit in when I play games. I'm not gonna have a full size couch in there anymore. I'm gonna get a smaller love seat. But anyway, so we leave there. And then we go to this place called Bassett. The good news was Bassett Furniture does have a national chain, meaning they are corporately owned chain. It's not just independent little stores. So anything you can buy at a Bassett store in Connecticut can be shipped to the Bassett location in Washington, which subsequently can be shipped to our home in Washington. So Bassett, we went through and we narrowed it down to four selections, okay, which we're gonna look at in a second here. And then after that, we went to this other store called Ashley something. Ashley Home Furniture or something. Something like that. And we go in and immediately we notice the stuff is very nice, very high grade, but it's also very pricey. And a nice salesman comes up to us. He shows us a few things. And then we sit down because there were three things we really liked. We sit down to discuss price. I explained the situation to him. And I said, you know, can you hook us up? And he basically said, no, unfortunately, Ashley, unlike Bassett, which is a corporate owned store chain, uh, Ashley was not, Ashley is independently owned, meaning we could not buy something here at a store in Connecticut and then have it delivered in Washington State. It wouldn't be possible. So unfortunately we wasted the guy's time, a good 20 minutes of his time showing us stuff, uh, which does suck and that's why we didn't film anything in the Ashley store because there just wasn't anything in there that, that could actually be uh, delivered to Washington State. <clears throat> Excuse me. So unfortunately, for all the work we did today, we literally spent about three to four hours looking around. We only got four different things that we actually got to look at in person, which sucks. Would have been nice to have a, a more of a range. 
Now, keep in mind, this doesn't mean that we have to order from these four, but it just means these are the only four we're going to be able to see up front before we move to Washington. Uh, obviously, getting stuff delivered sooner rather than later is a better idea because then we'll be able to put all our clothes away and everything, and that's the goal is that we want to get everything set up as soon as possible so that we don't have to have these weeks of lag holding me up from working, holding us up from doing the things that we need to do to start our life out there. So basically our choice is this, either we make the choice between these four, okay, or we wait, see what's out there in Washington State when we get there to the local businesses there and make a choice there, <clears throat> but that's going to hold up, that's going to spend, uh, you know, waste time, days where we're going to be doing that rather than just basically getting the stuff moved in. So, we already made videos of each one of these. You can check those out uh, on the King of Hate vlogs for a more in-depth look at them. The bottom line is, this one, Cosmopolitan, is very nice, but has granite countertops that's incredibly expensive. You could get it without, though. You can, but we couldn't see what it looked like because they didn't have it without the granite countertops. Um, these two here were kind of middle of the road. This one was a little bit more uh, modern style. A little bit more blocky, but also a little bit more basic. Well, this one was more traditional. It actually had uh, some fanciness to, uh, to it a little bit. And uh, had this wicker, wicker on the front, which my girlfriend hates. Although the salesman did say, no, the wicker is reversible, but then you're just going to see what's on the other side of the wicker. <laughs> And then the final one, Highlands, was the most expensive one by far because that one had the very nice uh, rail, rail uh, shelving, meaning that incredibly easy to open and close, uh, <clears throat> no problems, you know, getting the, the drawers open. And out of all of these, this was the only one that had the railings. And we're really kind of, I think we're kind of leaning towards that one if we were going to do one because it had the railings, the nightstand had the nice power uh, thing to plug in and charge your stuff seems like a nice set so what we need to do is basically talk this out and look at the videos ourselves which we have not seen since we left the store and uh, you know between the videos between these these things here figure out which one of these is the one that we want to go with if we want to go with it or we just not sold on any and we want to wait and hold off and see stuff in person when we go to Washington State but then of course run the risk of wasting a lot of time <clears throat> that really we could be using for other stuff <clears throat> So that's what we're faced with today. Uh, again, a little disappointing that the stores that exist both in Connecticut and Washington, most of them, like the department stores, don't carry furniture in the store. And so we couldn't see anything in person there. And you know, we had a nice chain in this Ashley furniture place, and they don't they're not corporate, so they have no link to the store in Washington, and we couldn't do what we wanted to do. We're really just faced with the one option right now with this Bassett furniture. So all right, that was our day, pretty much. Tomorrow <clears throat> is more back towards a fun day. Where we're going to be heading into the, that area kind of again, but we're going to be hitting up the things that we like to do on a regular basis, or the food, the places that we usually spend time at. <clears throat> and so you're going to be seeing, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, you're going to be seeing vlogs of that all day tomorrow. Um, by the way, my, my allergies have been killing me this trip, or this visit. Last night I woke up at 6 in the morning, dying because my throat, I could not breathe. It was so full of phlegm from the fucking pollen that had come in through the air conditioning. And I'm choking, bleh, bleh, and I literally had to get out of bed after choking for about 15 minutes straight, go into the bathroom, clear my throat, and take some medicine for it in order to even go back to sleep. My allergies are on high alert right now. They suck. And I cannot wait to get the hell out of Connecticut and not have to deal with that stuff anymore. So... All right, so that's just the final summary of the day. Tomorrow, back to more fun stuff rather than the work that we really did today. And there will be more vlogs tomorrow as well. So thanks, everyone, and we'll see you then.